Welcome back everyone to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. In today's recipe, let's make some chicken and rice, a well-known dish from New York City. I'm going to try my best to obtain that same taste, similar maybe, or even better because why not, right? As usual, let's start by marinating our meat. I'm using chicken thighs. For seasoning and remaining ingredients, I will have them listed in the description box as usual. Next, I'm going to add some lemon juice, vegetable oil, minced garlic. Mix mix until it's well combined. Now I'm going to wrap this up and allow it to marinate. Now time to make our white sauce. I'm going to mix mayo, sour cream, and some spices. I have black pepper, garlic powder, some parsley flakes, a little bit of sugar, and lemon juice as well. Now we're going to mix this well until smooth. I'm going to add some water just to thin out the sauce so it's not too thick, you know. And feel free to adjust the seasoning to your taste. Once done, we're going to wrap this up as well and then keep it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use. Let's make our rice. I'm using basmati rice, about 3 cups of it. We're going to wash this until the water runs clear. So the water that I added here can be replaced with chicken broth if you have that. I'm going to add bay leaves and then spices, uh, um, turmeric, oregano leaves, salt, olive oil or unsalted butter. And some chicken bouillon that I added last minute. Yo, I almost forgot about that. If you ended up using chicken broth instead of the water, no need to add those extra seasoning. But... Since I'm using water, I want to make sure the rice is well seasoned, okay? <laughs> now back to the chicken. I marinated this overnight, so the smell was so strong. It smelled really good, y'all. Now what we're going to do is to sear this on medium high heat, then reduce to medium low heat until brown. Once both sides are brown, I'm going to cover this, reduce the heat to low, and allow this to cook, just to allow the inside to be cooked as well. Next, remove the lid or the cover to allow the juice to dry out, and increase the heat a little bit as well, just to bring back that color on the chicken for a few more minutes, and that's it. The last thing we're going to do to the chicken is to chop it pretty much like this and then transfer it back into the pan to get some brownness all over. Right here I'm just adding back the juice that I removed earlier to the chicken. I'm going to give this a quick stir and then allow each piece of chicken to sear really quick on medium high heat and that'll be it. Well, here you have it guys. Quick and easy to make and delicious as usual. 
I'm going to pair this with tomatoes, cucumbers, and some chopped lettuce. So you can use the shredded cabbage instead of the lettuce, that is fine. I'm also going to pair this with some pita breads. And then, of course, we have the rice, well done rice, not mushy at all. And that's it, y'all. I did transfer the white sauce into this bottle to make it easier, you know, to drizzle the sauce on top of it at the end, like this. Lastly, for all my spicy food lovers, definitely drizzle some hot sauce to it. I did mine off camera, so. <laughs> and that'll be all for today. Thank you so much for watching today's recipe. Don't forget to please give a like, subscribe if you haven't done it yet, and hit that bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a recipe on my channel. And I'll see y'all on my next one. Take care.